Talking about mid-caps, Surya, when we saw this good run in the mid-cap story, which uh, kind of halted in the recent past yes. and mid-caps saw a lot of losses and so did small caps. And I remember that a lot of questions around that time came from people saying, I want to buy mid-cap. Uh, this herd mentality approach that just because a particular category of the market starts doing well, we jump and say we want to go and buy just that. And then when it falls, we say that, oh my God, what just happened? That's very true. You always see a herd mentality. We have done it many a time. Has that earlier. changed? The I don't think so, Vivek. And I think it's very hard to change. What it requires to really change it is in your mind, which requires a lot of knowledge transformation, requires a lot of imparting knowledge to the investor, not chasing the returns just because the last six months, the last one year have seen an excellent performance. Past track record is a good indicator hmm. of the past, not of the future. Of the future, I have to see what the valuations are. We can understand that for an investor, that's very difficult to follow. But what an investor can do is to understand the risk involved in that particular asset class. Hmm. If I'm buying a mid cap, mid caps carries an inherent risk within the equity frame of the highest order. Small caps are even higher. And if I buy a sectoral call, which was also happening in a big way, that's on the highest pecking order of the risk category which you take. So to diversify within the equity basket, you have to make sure that I have an exposure which is reasonable between the large cap, the mid caps and small caps. At some point, some will do, at some point, some other uh, class will do better. For example, last year, large caps did not participate. They did well, but the herd mentality was much in favor of mid caps. And look at this year, large caps are the superior performers. It doesn't mean all my portfolio needs to be shoved into the large caps now. Because overall, if I am true to my label of holding for seven, eight years, if that's my allocation, there is no harm even now to have your exposure in the mid-cap segment, provided you are able to hold true to yourself. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.